blamed everything on God. I hated God. I hated my mother because she was a Christian, and um, so I totally grew rebellious towards her, and I hated her. I despised her, and so after that, I was looking for someone or something to love me, and I found that love that I was looking for, but I found it in gangs. And I got jumped into a gang, and I was um, running away. I was getting into a relationship with older guys, and I was just going down the wrong path, you know? And so um, mom got sick of it, and she kicked me out, and I went to go live with my grandma. And then, like, after that, a week later, my mom sent me to this program. She filled out an application. I got accepted within three to four days. And that's what she said, but I'm not sure. So, and um, before, like, I knew it, I walked into the gym, and all of a sudden, I see girls everywhere. And for for me, one thing, I did not get along with girls. I just didn't. Like, it was me, my personality. But and coming into a house full of them was really hard for me. And I was um, very rebellious in this program. But I've been here for a year now, and. Um, I'm on level four, and I should be going home soon, hopefully. And like my relationship with mom has gotten so much better. Like I love my mother. Like our relationship has gotten really good. And my dad, our relationship has grown. Um, I go to visit him once in a while when I go on my passes, and a lot of that hatred that I had towards a lot of people, it's slowly starting to fade away, and I'm starting to accept more love in my heart. And and I still have an attitude, and I'm still loud, but I'm only 15. And I'm the rest of my, <laughs> my name's Carol, and I'm 17. And um, before I came to the Dream Center, my life basically was a wreck. I was going nowhere. I had no goals or plans for my life, and um, I was like running away a lot. <clears throat> and I grew up in a Christian family, but my mom was never really around, and she was always on drugs and getting arrested and stuff. I never really knew my mom, and. Finally, my parents like ended up getting divorced, and um, after that, when I was 13 years old, I got charged with Grand Theft Auto, and that was like the beginning of my whole um, juvenile hall and probation experience, and which was really hard. And um, I was running away all the time and getting involved in um, different types of things. I got involved in an abusive relationship that almost took my life, and um, that was like something that completely changed everything in my mind. Like, I was slowly just, like, dying. I didn't even know who I was anymore. Like, I looked at myself in the mirror, and all I saw was death. Like, it was really bad. And um, so after the whole juvenile hall and um, the guy and everything, um, I was just sick of it. I was weak. I couldn't do anything anymore. And I had nowhere to go. And um, so I decided to turn myself in. And um, when I did turn myself in, I went to juvenile hall. They um, planned on keeping me there for a year. Like there was no way out because all the times that I was running away and warrants for my arrest and stuff. So they wanted to keep me there for a year. There was no way out at all. But my dad um, was praying and he found out about the Dream Center through a girl that was su um, successfully graduated. And um, he presented it to the court and um, they actually let me come out, which was a complete miracle. There was no way out, like no way, you know? And so um, since I've been at the Dream Center, a lot has changed in my life. Like my relationship with my family has changed. My mom is wanting to come to the Lord now and um, she might come into the discipleship program actually. And um, just my relationship with God is good and I just have a better attitude. I have goals and I'm in school. I was in school for like three years. And so it's just all coming back together. Here are two wonderful girls that are here learning about the love of God and are building their lives from nothing to something wonderful in the future. Great things are gonna happen in their lives because they have learned that God loves them. He loves them just where they are, just what they are, and he's gonna do something great with their lives. We're so thrilled. Today we are revamping a floor that will hold over 200 of these young women that want their lives restored again. And this vision, this dream could not come about if it were not for the vision of Morse and Teresa. Thank God for them. Thank God for their vision. Thank God for their compassion. I've never seen greater compassion and love for people than these two great people. And so that's what this wonderful floor is going to be about. It's going to be a floor to leave a legacy to the lives of this wonderful couple. You know, they've given their life to changing lives. And wouldn't it be a wonderful to leave a legacy to Mama Teresa, her love and concern for the young women of our city? This can only happen because of the faithfulness of the partners of the Morris Cirillo Ministry. 
I want to thank all of you for partnering with us to let this dream become a reality. Thank you so much. Thank you, Morris and Teresa. Thank you for the wonderful partners that you have that are partnering with us to reach these hurting women that just need a chance so they can get up on their feet, be united again with their children, have a new life in Jesus Christ. Partners, I believe with all of my heart that as you have watched this special video, God has been stirring something in your spirit. It's time now for us to put our faith into action. And Teresa and I want to thank you as we have sent you this DVD in advance because we trust you. We believe that the investment of sending this DVD to you with this incredible vision on it where you have seen these two men of God, Tommy and Matthew Barnett, seasoned men of God and the Dream Center, a seasoned place where with confidence you can give your special gifts. We need you to let God raise the level of your faith. And we need people to give special gifts, gifts of legacy, gifts that will come from the very depth of your being, knowing that the gift that you give to Mama Teresa's place will never, ever die. It will be used once we finish and complete this facility. It will be used again and again and again for scores of young girls who need the love of Jesus. I want to thank you because, you know, I was an orphan boy. And I know what it is to be brought up the hard way. And so personally, I want to thank you that as you reach for that envelope with this letter and with this DVD, God will move your hand to do something that will lift the level of your faith and make an investment in the lives of people that will be changed because of your love. God bless you.